Hi, my name is Gerald Simon, and I'm the president and founder of Music Motivation. And every week I come out with a brand new cool song. It's part of an annual subscription I created to help teach music theory the fun way through original cool songs that I compose each week. So right now I'm going to play for you on Safari, and I think you're going to like it. It's a, it's a very simple piece. It's more of a primer level piece, but let me play it. Let me know what you think. Not too difficult. It's very, very simple, very, very easy. But again, this is for primer or beginning level students, many times younger students or students who are just starting. This is perfect even for a first lesson. And we're only using five notes. It's the first five notes of the C major scale. We could call this the C major penta scale. The word penta means five. So we have C, D, E, F, and G. And those are the first five notes. Pretty simple. That is all we are using. We also only have whole notes, half notes, and quarter notes. That's it. So practice playing this. It's really great to have you work on those five finger patterns, but also I would love to have you try to create and compose something of your own, where again, you're only using C, D, E, F, or G. Watch. So, to begin with, find all of the C's. And see how we have a pattern of two black keys and then three black keys? Go all the way up and down the piano, finding the two and then the three. And you can play two with your left hand, where you hold up two fingers. With your right hand, you can hold up three fingers and play the three black keys. Watch, try this. Wherever we have a two, the two black keys together, if you go directly to the left, and we're just going down half a step, half step means we don't have any keys in between. So if you go from one white key to a black key, or from one black key to a white key, or even if you have white key to white key here from B to C or from E to F, those are considered half steps. So I tell students, wherever you see two black keys, just go down and play the key next to it, that is a C. Watch this. Find all of the C's. When you have 88 keys, the farthest key to the right is a C. So again, we have C's. We have C1, then we go up to C2, and then C3, C4, C5, C6, C7, and C8, because there are eight C's on the piano when you have 88 keys. So I tell students, wherever you have a C, play C, and then think of the alphabet. What comes after C? D. What comes after D? E, what comes after E, F, what comes after F, G, C, D, E, F, G. And I have the students play C, D, E, F, G starting on every single C. Try this. and we play C, D, E, F, G. That is the C major pentascale. So this week, play on Safari and then try to play the C major pentascale starting on every C on 
the piano. And then try to create something using those five notes. You can play them in any order. I like to tell students one, two, three, four, five. Think of your thumbs as one, and then your pointer fingers as two, the middle finger as three, and the ring finger as four, and then the pinky is five. So with the right hand, and just try it with the right hand to begin with, one, two, three, four, five. Watch, one, two, three, four, five is C, D, E, F, G. Now what if I called out random numbers? One, three, two, four. 1 again is C, 3 is E, 2 is D, and 4 would be F. You can write down random numbers, 1 through 5, on a piece of paper, and then try playing them. You can hold them however long you want, whether you're trying to hold for a whole note, four counts, or a half note, two counts, or a quarter note, one beat. But I tell students, and I'm going to tell you to try this. If this is where you are currently with your skill level and you're just starting out, or if you are a teacher and you're trying to teach students how to begin to create and improvise, start them out at a very young age. Have them write down a list of numbers, one through five, and then have them try to create a composition of their own. It doesn't matter how long they hold down those notes. It's about having them experiment, changing the order. What if I did one, five, four, three, two? What if I did three, two, four, five? What if I did one, one, five, four? What if I did three, two, four, one? What if I did one, three, two, four? You come up with different patterns and you can start composing something. I'm just going to compose something with the right hand on my own. Try to do something like this. Pretty simple, not too difficult, and I was choosing random numbers, one, two, three, four, or five. Try to do that and see if you can create a cool song of your own. I hope you have fun watching this video and watching all of my other videos as well, but trying to play on Safari. Each cool song is designed to teach the students the music theory the fun way. And I have a fun time creating the minus tracks, the background instruments, so students can play along as if they're playing with a band and they have all these different sounds, guitars, drums, they have different rhythms, different beats, but it helps the students to begin to feel as if they're playing with a group. And then try to compose something. Take these five notes, C, D, E, F, and G, and compose something of your own. It is so wonderful because then you connect with the music and the music becomes yours. It becomes a part of you. And as you share your music with others, you are really sharing yourself with others. So it's wonderful. It helps to motivate and inspire you. And it's enjoyable. Try it. See what you can come up with. First, play on Safari and then try to compose something of your own. I hope you do. It will be fun and I think you'll learn a lot in the process as well. So thanks again for watching. I'd love to have you subscribe to my YouTube channel. That is youtube.com slash Gerald Simon. Every week I come out with a brand new cool song and, and I share the videos to help teach the music theory the fun way for piano students, for teachers, and also for parents of piano students who are trying to motivate and inspire their students. So thanks again for watching. If you have any questions, I would love to hear from you. You can send me an email, Gerald Simon, J-E-R-A-L-D-S-I-M-O-N, at musicmotivation.com. You can also visit my website, it's musicmotivation.com. But let me know what you think. If you have a suggestion or an idea for a new cool song or a new Theory Tip Tuesday video or an instructional piece on how to understand music theory the fun way.
either through a cool song or a new tutorial that you'd like to have me teach where you can learn a new style or a new genre. I'd love to hear from you. So thanks again for watching. Try this. Let me know what you think, but I'd love to hear back from you. Have a great week.